welcome back to another video. So I know that we've been used to seeing these civics get put together a little bit different. Um, each one of them is a little bit different getting set up, but today's video is about teaching you guys on what you guys need for bucket seats for your guys' vehicle. And on top of that, how you can build an aftermarket steering wheel setup for your vehicle as well. So if you guys don't know the basic information, I'm here to tell you guys every single step that you need to make your life a lot easier when ordering these parts on our website. Now we move most of our stuff from the store onto our website already and we're adding more and more and more so I encourage you guys to swing by all the time because we're doing our best to get better at that. Nonetheless, today's wrap up video is gonna show you guys all the basics on what you're gonna go through from step one, two to three to get you squared away that way you got the right stuff for you guys' vehicles so you guys can put bucket seats, uh, harnesses, harness bars, all that other type of cool stuff. I'm gonna show you guys the basics of bucket seats and steering wheel setup. I know I said that multiple times over and over, I'm lost. I just wanna make another video. So today, welcome back. Thank you guys so much. If this has helped you, Please hit the share, the follow, the comment, etc. Drop it down there below and uh, make sure you guys cruise by our website. Fat boy ate today too, and I shaved. Oh fuck, where are my fuckers? Let's go to the video. In a lot of my videos, I have multiple seats to show you guys from, from the different styles, mix, etc. But I'm gonna work with what I got. So in today's video, this is gonna be our example seat. It is also for sale still here at the store, so the rest of the stuff is still on clearance. So scroll down our Instagram stories and check that out because we post daily clearance sales on there for you guys. So nonetheless, the first thing you're gonna do is figure out your bucket seat. What kind of seat do you like and also sizing so these come in medium size and or large now the next thing you want to com comply with is the actual size of your vehicle do you have enough space now if you drive a Mazda Miata an S2000 a 350Z a coupe this is all going to affect you the size of this because the fact is these are really wide on the broad shoulders so on most cars or those cars I just named every time you roll up the window guess what beep 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 it ain't going nowhere you have a soft top even worse this thing sits too tall so this probably wouldn't be the seat for you you would pick something like a Sparco Sprint seat which is the racing bucket seat. So that one fits in the Mazda Biata and all those small cars very easy if you want a stiff bucket seat. Nonetheless, if you want a reclining seat, I would get with Brom, Sparkle, et cetera, you have an easier time dropping it into those vehicles because it has space for them. And you need that reclining feature because a lot of times in those cars from here to here, it has rubbing issues when you try to slide it back and forth. So just a pro tip when you guys are fi fi figuring out if the seat's going to fit into your vehicle. So now that you guys got all that squared away and I promise I'm gonna get another tripod so I can do these videos a lot easier. Um, the next thing is, what kind of car do you drive? You drive a, this one is for a G35 and I almost broke the showcase. So what you guys are gonna do is figure out your car specific mounting bracket. Now what this is gonna allow you to do is to adapt it to your vehicle. Now it does matter on some vehicles whether it's stick shift, if it's automatic, if it's a coupe, a sedan, etc. Those do all play very important roles when you guys are buying the seat setups. Now on our website, all you have to do is find your vehicle and it'll send you to directly to your specific mounting bracket. So first things first, figure out if the bracket is offered for your vehicle. Now we don't have every single car on our website, so if you want to inquire about one, we did offer a chat button right there at the bottom that you guys see when you guys first visit our website that will allow you to chat with us and we can do more in-depth research to find your vehicle specifically. So now that you guys got this mounting bracket figured out and you got it, you're a-okay, that's when you guys will do the, the, the actual part of figuring out if the seat's going to fit in your car, etc. So, catch my breath. Fat boy ran out of breath. <sighs> now that you guys got the bucket seat and you guys got the seat bracket figured out, you're going to have to opt for if you want sliders or no sliders. Now, what the slider part is going to do is going to allow you to actually do exactly what's in the name. Slide the seat back and forth if you want to move it from here to here to here to there. That is an optional piece for some of the bucket seats. Some of the cars, they are drifting the car, they're doing et cetera, they want absolutely no movement, then that's when you don't run a slider. If you want it to move back and forward because you're driving the car to work every single day, then you would get the slider that would allow you to adapt that to move it back and forth like in, in the name, et cetera. It's a re easy recap. Get you guys' mounting brackets. That's the car specific part. Every bucket seat is universal, no matter what's on the website, it's all universal. Just make sure you guys take into consideration the size that your vehicle has when putting these seats into it. Now the slider is going to look like this in this brown box. It's going to come with two, um, maybe I'll, sh I'll show you guys that. Hold on one second. During the sliders, this is exactly how they would come in a pair. Now you need one slider for each side. So one slider for the driver, one slider for the passenger. So if you guys are going to order this, make sure you guys order two seats two brackets because they're specific driver and specific passenger and also get yourself two sliders now the sliders does not matter if it's driver or passenger just you need to get a pair of these to make sure that you're going to have if you're going to opt for that option of being able to move the seat back and forth so that is a quick recap on how to get you guys self some bucket seats in your guys vehicle now that we now that we covered 
All right, guys, so now that we covered all the bucket seats, now we're gonna get into the infamous. Oh, fuck, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Beautiful. Now I had to get in a little close and personal right there. I hope you guys didn't mind. But now you guys want to build a custom steering wheel setup for you guys' car. The beautiful infamous ding that is swarming through the world that everybody wants. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how you guys can get that into your vehicle too. Much like you guys' bucket seat assembly with the car specific mounting brackets, it's no different than finding the car specific short hub. They don't make it for every vehicle and some vehicles use the same as its different part number. So we try to make it easy in our website. Our website, you're gonna go to the short hub section and the filter top, you're gonna find your vehicle. If you don't find it there, you can type it in the search or you can hit that chat button again and we'll tell you exactly how to go along from there. So the first most important part is your car specific short hub. This is going to adapt any type of setup to you guys' vehicle. You need this piece anytime. And once after that, you got that figured out, then you guys can pick your ding setup or if you guys want a 2.8, 2.2, 3.0, 4.0, different models of quick release you guys can see on there. That's when you guys will put this. Now you guys can pick any of these and then once you get to one, two, and three, the third step is picking any steering wheel you want. So now as you guys can see the wall that we have here at the shop, not all of these are listed on the website, but the website has most of them. You guys can select any type of setup you want after that. Therefore, setting it up just like this. One, two, three. So car specific short hub, any quick release and any steering wheel is going to adapt. So if you guys want any further help, that chat section is there for you guys so you guys can get direct assistance on our website and how exactly how to use it. So one, two, and three. Just like that, that's how you guys build your steering wheel setup. Being said, hopefully this video helped you guys. I'm just trying to keep, your, keep us in the YouTube algorithm. I got some stuff planned for the Civic and some stuff going out the shop. So like I said, guys, follow us on Instagram, watch the Instagram stories because that's where we do a lot of the clearance blowouts and so much more and let you guys know ahead of time about events and everything else like that. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for cruising by this video. Drop a comment if you guys helped you guys. Drop a share, etc. Hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 6,300 subscribers already. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.